Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Back to my boxing. Nah, man, crazy news, man. You guys see the title of the video. You guys can watch the video yourself. I was going to play the audio, but there's music playing in the background. And you know about copyrights. So I can't give you guys the audio, but you guys are more likely... You guys can watch the video yourself, right? Right. Now, Eddie Hearn talks about this whole Anthony Joshua fight and where it's most likely going to be located. And Andy, uh, you know, Eddie Hearn, he was asked, man, yo, Andy Reid said he wants to fight in the UK. I mean, if he wants to, if he wants to fight in the UK, they're going to have to give him $50 million. He said, I won't go to the UK unless they give me $50 million. And Eddie Hearn's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's most, it's most likely going to be in the UK, but Anthony Joshua... He wants a MSG Grand. He wants it at the place he lost that. He he wants to redeem himself. He said, if I lost it there, I need to get it there. And Eddie Hearn's like, yo, yo, you're too nice. You're too nice. We, we, we need to make sure you you have the advantage. You know, Eddie Hearn talks about in this interview how Andy Reeves was the challenger and we gave Andy Reeves the opportunity. So therefore, you know, getting the opportunity, he basically owes Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. That's what basically... Uh, Eddie Hearn's logic was in this whole uh, breakdown, and uh, yeah, Crick, that's that's how he feels. That's how he feels. Now, Eddie Hearn, man, he knows he needs Andy, uh, Anthony Joshua to win this fight to save Matchroom Boxing, to save Dance, to save the company. He needs it. He needs this fight. That's why they're pushing this fight to happen so soon. That being said, man, uh, I think this fight should happen a little bit later. I think this fight should not happen right away. Anthony Joshua needs more time to get his confidence back. He needs time to actually, you know, train in some things. That's going to take at least a year, minimum, you know, minimum. He needs to just get his mind back. He needs to work at his things, work at his speed, lose some of that muscle, and just not lift weights. That's what he needs to do, man. He needs to get his speed, and he needs to work on his boxing. You know, Anthony Joshua has, like Andre Ward said, he really has no style. He has, you know... He works out so much, he basically relies on his athleticism instead of relying on Anthony Joshua's unique style. See, when you look at the best in history, the best in history always have a distinct style, right? Mike Tyson and Dempsey Roll, you know, Ali in his movement and his Ali shuffle, you know, Joe Frazier with that left hook, you know, George Foreman with, with the with the cross block and, and you know, that uh, straight right. He, he has his own unique style. You know, the, the the best always have a crazy, unique style. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, I can go down the list for Roberto Duran, who is that you have a senior. You know, I think Anthony Joshua, he needs to really get his own style in order. I think he's an incomplete fighter. A lot of people have already seen that a long time ago and seen holes through his defense. But he needs to really work on his craft itself. I think, I think who he is as a fighter, you know, he did, really didn't know what to do in the Andy Reese fight. And, you know, you're always going to, when you get hurt, you're always going to, Go back to your instincts, you know what I mean? And I think Anthony Joshua really needs to fight himself and really box how he thinks he should box because having coaches are great, but when things, you know, hit the fan and you start getting wobbled and hurt, you're going to you're gonna revert to what you do. And Anthony Joshua's defense completely fell apart in this Andy Reid's fight. Uh, when he started getting hurt, he didn't even really know how to do what to do. Um, a lot of people were saying when Andy Reid's is hitting to the body, uh, Anthony Joshua put his hands down, try to block his body, and then Anthony Reid's will go to his face. You know, things like that. George Foreman was talking about that. He's like, yo, if the guy's going to hit your body, protect your head. You know what I mean? Protect your head. You got to take that body shot. You know, Anthony Joshua, I mean, he, he, the guy has like an eight pack or six pack or something like that. He's always in shape. So I think he should be, he should have took those body shots and he shouldn't have got hit so much in the head if he just protected his head, especially when it was hurt. That, that was more of a big deal than anything. Because Andy Reese would throw a lot of combinations, but they wasn't just head combinations. It was like body, body, head, body, head. You know what I mean? It was it was sort of everywhere. But that being said, man, you know, Anthony Joshua needs more time. Um, but there's definitely uh, conflict between interest between Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. You know, they want this fight to happen, but Anthony Joshua wants more time. He wants to net America. And Eddie Hearn, he wants it quicker. He wants it in the UK. So that being said, man, crazy stuff, man. I'm sort of shocked that they're already having this dilemma Eddie Hearn admits it in the uh, video that they want it in two different locations. They're already talking about he, you know, Eddie Hearn wants it in one place and Anthony Joshua wants it somewhere else. That's already a dilemma right there. And I've definitely changed the ties of the fight completely. So this is a big deal, man. It's sort of, it's sort of, 
internal conflict going on between Andy Hearn and Anthony Joshua, man. Thought I'd talk, touch on it, man. You guys can watch the video itself. The title's in the description. And it's in the title. And it's in the timeline. Now, let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.